Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Daily Ramadan video. I think this might be the last one, depending on whether or not Eid is on Friday. This could be the last Ramadan daily, guys. How sad is that? If it is, then I'm gonna do a little more of a special video um, towards the end of it, but we shall see. But yeah, I just finished filming this makeup tutorial. I used the Fenty Beauty um, Beach Please collection and I'm so obsessed with how it turned out. Like I tried to use, actually I used every single thing in the collection on my face. Well, not all the lip colors, but I used, I don't need that. I used all of the eyeshadows, like, or not the eyeshadows, but the things that come in here, the kilowatt foils, and I'm so obsessed with this. Like, I need to do this type of makeup more often. It's like, I call it like candy cane, candy cane, <laughs> candy cane, no, no, cotton candy dreams. Cotton candy realness. Like, look at this highlight, this glow. Ooh, it is so beautiful. I'm obsessed. But this tutorial, if it's not already out, it should be out on my Instagram. Soy, just check that out and um, you'll see how I did this look, but wow, I can't stop staring at myself. I really don't want to take this makeup off, but I have a workout in like two hours, so I'm going to need to. But I actually tried out the Fenty foundation again. Um, I haven't used it since last September because I just didn't have my shade. Mine like broke, so um, I got 400. Sephora sent me this one. And the shade is actually really good. At first, like before I put concealer and powder everything and everything, it was like super, super orange. Um, but I think after everything, like it kind of just, it looks a lot better. Like it looks like a perfect, well, yeah, it looks like a pretty perfect match. It's a little more yellow slash orange than I normally go for, but I don't really mind it. Sorry, I keep staring at myself here. I'm sure it's very annoying. I just feel like I look so good. Like I'm feeling myself today. <laughs> But it is pouring outside right now, like, just a second ago, it was, I couldn't even see my window because it was just pouring that much, but it hasn't rained in so long, so I'm sure, you know, the plants and everything need it, so I'm not even gonna get mad. It's been a super, super busy week. Tomorrow, Sada's coming over because we have to film a video for, like, a what I eat in a day video for a brand, and it's gonna hopefully be really good, but... I just got a lot of shit to do and not enough time. Excuse my French, but, or pardon my French is the saying, I think. But anyways, I will check in with you guys a little later. Actually, I think I might even just take you guys with me to the gym so you can see a little bit of my workout, but we shall see. Squeeze, hold top, okay? Hold it top, good. Coming down to at least 90 degrees, good. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I'm pretty sure that Eid is tomorrow. 
So Eid Mubarak to all of you guys. I'm so excited that we got through this month. Alhamdulillah, it's honestly been such a blessing. Uh, right now, I am going grocery shopping. I'm actually just gonna vlog and post this today. So you guys are kind of watching this the same day I'm doing it. I'm filming a what I eat in a day today, which I know is kind of random, but basically I'm leaving for LA on Wednesday. So the Wednesday coming up and I have like a video that's gonna be going up like a week after I get back from LA. I'm, get, I'm coming back from LA July 2nd, so I'm there for a while. Um, and that video needs to be filmed before I leave, filmed, edited, and like sent through to the brand before I leave. So yeah, I'm doing what I eat in a day and I'm fasting today, so that should be fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just need to go and buy some of the ingredients, actually pretty much all the ingredients, cause we have nothing in the house apparently. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. And then I wanna do a little bit of like um, five ways to lose weight or five ways to get back into the shape sorry five ways to get back into shape after Ramadan ends because I feel like a lot of people like I personally was pretty good on my diet like I am very proud of myself let me talk to you like this I'm very proud of myself for sticking to my diet but I know a lot of people during Ramadan you know they fall off the wagon and this was always like me I would always gain like five to ten pounds during Ramadan so it's not you alone um you know we just it's a different eating schedule and if you're not used to eating like that your stomach and your body can react differently and make you gain weight and then also a lot of people eat fried foods during Ramadan so it's really hard to get back into the swing of things so I think I'm just going to do like a five ways to get back into shape after Ramadan and just give you some quick and easy tips that I can remember off the top of my head yeah I will do that a little later but for now I'm going to go grocery shopping and I figured I would take you guys along with me so let's go so I just finished in the first grocery store and just take in take in the slippers I wore <laughs> I noticed it when I got out of the car but I wore okay first of all my ankles are ashy AF but I literally wore these these are my mom's shoes and I usually just wear them inside the house I didn't even think about like putting on my normal shoes like I totally forgot that I was even wearing my mom's slippers and not my normal shoes <laughs> Hey, they're comfortable though, so whatever. I may look weird, but they comfortable. So I'm at the fish market right now, and I ran into a subscriber. I didn't even ask your name. Oh Khadija. God, how rude of me. Khadija. 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 <laughs> okay, great, Khadija. She like came up to me, she's like, are you Aisha? I watch your videos. I'm like, yeah, so we're bonding over fish. What kind of fish did you get? White bass. White bass? Yeah. Okay, and she said she like, cooks the whole thing. Yeah. I've never done that, so maybe... Yeah, we make the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, my come from, I come from Cameroon. <laughs> I need to try that out. I'm just getting salmon fillets because I'm making salmon tonight, but it was so nice meeting her. Do you want to say hi to your friend? Maybe she'll watch this. Hi, Halima. <laughs> Look who I met at the fish market. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Halima. <laughs> so, I just got home. It was so nice bumping into Khadija. Um, thanks for saying hi. I love when people actually say hi and not just like stare awkwardly from afar. Um, but yeah, I picked up some salmon because I need it as part of my what I eat in a day. So I'm gonna be making that and then it'll just double up for a flour as well. And then I literally just got like a bunch of veggies from Walmart and Metro. Um, it's crazy like the price difference between Walmart and Metro and like other grocery stores. Um, it's just so much cheaper at Walmart. So money saving hack um, or tip I should say. I also got, uh, what else did I get? Oh, okay. It was impossible to find ripe avocados today. And I need avocados for this video. Like I need a lot of them because the whole theme is gonna be like around avocados. So um, I literally went to three different three different stores and I was like, you know what? I feel like the Chinese stores always have like about to go bad veggies. <laughs> so um, I went to the Chinese store and lo and behold, they had some veggies at, um, or some avocado, some ripe ones. They didn't have a ton. Like I think I only found like one little bag of five that had like two ripe avocados in there and then I just bought two bigger ripe avocados. I feel like that should be enough. But then Sana told me about this trick. So you just take a ripe banana and put it in like a closed bag with your avocados and then put it in a dark place and supposedly in like two hours they should all be ripe so i'm gonna be testing that theory right now um and we shall see if that actually works if it does then that would be amazing but i will let you guys know so that you can try it as well okay guys so sada's here now hi guys i'm back <laughs> and we're getting ready to film and i want to see if her trick worked so i i took your suggestion these were, half of them were already ripe, but I want to see 
If it worked, it's moment of truth. Okay, so you keep it in like a dark place. I kept it in there, yeah. Okay, yeah. So then it's okay. Here's the right banana. And I mean, these ones were already ripe, oh, okay. but some of these were not. Huh? Ah, nah, it didn't work. It did it? How long did you have it in there? Like a, two hours now, about? Didn't work, guys. Buzzfeed's a stay <laughs> overnight, but. Okay, overnight would probably work a little better, but um, that's fine. I'll try it again with the hard ones. Try it. it. It's okay though, because I still have, I have enough avocados for all the recipes, but we're about to start filming. So this video is going to be up so late today. <laughs> this is for today's vlog. It's going to be up so late, but hopefully we can start filming and everything. Oh my God. This lighting makes my skin look real nice. It is real nice. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so five ways, or you know what, I don't know how many ways I'm gonna say, but I'm just gonna tell you guys some tips on to how, as to how to get yourself back into like eating healthy and like the healthy lifestyle after Ramadan. So my number one tip is drink a lot of water because over the last 30 days you've been very dehydrated and have likely not got as much water as you needed. So try to have a water bottle, something like this, as you guys know, I always have my Starbucks water bottle with me. Keep it full all the time. Keep it full at all hours of the day and it'll just encourage you to drink more water and you know, flush out the toxins and everything like that. Another great way um, to get back into shape is go on a little bit of a cleanse. And I don't mean like that type of cleanse where you literally drink liquids for a week. Just cut out all the fried foods, cut out, you know, I don't know, anything that makes your stomach upset, whether that be gluten, uh, grains, I don't know, dairy, sugar, anything like that. Go on a little bit of a cleanse. You can do like a whole 30 week, or a whole week. Technically, it wouldn't be a whole 30 if it's not 30 days, but um, just start eating like very clean for at least like a week or two so that your body can recuperate and get back into like, you know, how it normally works. I'm giving them tips for how to be healthy again after Ramadan. Because you know in Ramadan a lot of people eat unhealthy food, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So ways yeah, to get healthy. Mm -hmm. Just Sara. Sara? Yeah. My mom's home now. Another great tip is to get back into being active and stop being lazy. Because I feel like a lot of people use Ramadan as an excuse to be lazy. They stop going to the gym, you know, they stop going on their runs or their walks or whatever because they're like, I'm fasting and you know, they pretend they're like on their deathbed because they're fasting. Don't be the, that person after Ramadan continuing that habit. Just, you know, the first day after Ramadan, you're eating, you know, you're happy, whatever. Okay, obviously not on Eid. You can treat yourself on Eid. Um, but just get back into being active, whether that means going on a walk, one day a week or you know taking the stairs uh down from your apartment or taking the stairs at work i don't know walking to the subway or like just incorporating more walking at the very least to get your body more active um, and if you are per someone that went to the gym before ramadan then get back into the gym start with like i don't know one to two days and you can work your way up i know myself i cut my workouts to about two days a week during ramadan um, and i want to bring that back up to four days a week so that is what I'm gonna be doing. I am going on a little bit of a vacation to LA. Well, not really vacations for work. I feel like Ramadan, it's the like it's the easiest month. Like after you're done Ramadan, you're in that stage of your life or in that stage of your body where you can just jump right into a diet or jump right into a healthy lifestyle because you've already been used to like eating less. So just take advantage of that um oh another great thing since we're so used to fasting i know a lot of people are like oh it feels so weird to eat maybe pick up intermittent fasting um i did intermittent fasting before ramadan for about three or four months and i really loved it i found great results um and i just found my body liked to eat that way like so intermittent fasting is basically you start eating a little later throughout the day. So I did the 16-8 method. So I would fast for 16 hours and then I would have an eight hour eating period. So eight hours of that 16 um, is when I'm sleeping. And then the other eight hours, I wouldn't start eating until about like two or 3 p.m. And then I would stop eating at 11 p.m. because that's just how my, I don't know, my work schedule works for me. Um, but for you, you could do 12 to eight. You could do, I don't know, if you're very ambitious, eight to four. I wouldn't recommend that though, because you'll be starving <laughs> towards the evening. 
But just intermittent fasting is a really, really great way to watch what you're eating and narrow down the amount of food you eat throughout the day. Because if you have like a 12 hour day and you're eating every two hours, like you're having like potentially six meals. Um, and you could be overeating. So that's just a very simple way. Your body's already used to fasting. So pick up intermittent fasting. It might be useful to you. What else? I feel like those are pretty good tips right now. That's really all I could think of. No, no, that's okay. Sada's over here with me still. She's just helping me. We're taking a little bit of an intermission um, from filming. And yeah, I think that is it, guys. But Eid Mubarak. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing Eid tomorrow. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm so sad. This is the end of the Ramadan daily. <laughs> it's the, guys, real tears. It's the end of the Ramadan daily. How crazy is that? I'm, it's just like, you know when you get excited and you like tear up a little? But thank you for following me along this month. Our family grew over 10,000 subscribers this month alone. Um, and like my views have been amazing. Like you guys have honestly been such a blessing and I'm so happy that I could provide these videos to you every single day. It's been a challenge, but it's been a good one. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you actually I haven't done a giveaway in this video. I wanted to do like a huge giveaway with like five winners, mm -hmm. but I just have one thing that I really wanna give away, so we'll do that right now. So I got this package at the beginning of Ramadan, actually before Ramadan started, and I'm like, oh my God, this would literally be perfect. But this is a entire Smashbox collection. I, can we open it somehow? Does it open that way? Oh, well, maybe it's just take Oh, I think it slides out. Yeah, yeah, take it out. Oh yeah. It makes weird sounds. <laughs> it's like supposed to be like camera, get it? Like, um. that was a really bad camera noise, but. <laughs> okay, I think we have to pull it out this way. Okay guys, so this is mm. the last giveaway of the Ramadan daily. So you may have seen me use these before. Where's my favorite shade? This is my favorite. It's called Nudie Pick Deep. And yeah, this is all of the new Smashbox. I forget what these are called. I think it's the photo. Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio, and it's so cool because they're shaped like a lens. I get, get it? it? I get it. Because Smashbox actually started as a studio first, and then they started making makeup. But that is what you guys can win today. I don't think I'm going to ship it. This is a really cool PR package, but I don't think I'm going to ship it in this package because it's going to be like $300 because it's so heavy. Um, so I'll just like ship them individually, like in a pack, basically. Like this, yeah. But anyways, if you guys want to win this, it'll be the regular rules as always. So you have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to like this video. You have to follow me on Instagram. And then co comment down below um, any comment. doesn't really matter. And just make sure you leave your Instagram handle so I can check if you're following me. And then it's international, so I can ship it to wherever I can ship to legally. <laughs> so that concludes this Stumbled On Daily, guys. Thank you so much for following me along over the past month. I love you guys so, so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And Sarah, do you want to say goodbye? You want to say, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, by the way, <laughs> thanks guys for all the comments. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That has been getting so much love. I don't want to, it's honestly like sometimes I it's read it so and it's like, cute. why are they? It makes me it? so happy. People are like, I need to get myself a Sara so Lee. nice. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, my thanks for being so sweet to her. <laughs> sends me screenshots and he's like, look, you're famous. <laughs> I'm not, but thank you guys. And thanks for supporting my cousin on the day. That was a really awkward hug. I was like stuck, there we go. <laughs> But uh, you guys will get one more vlog. So tomorrow is Eid. You guys won't get a vlog on Eid because your girl needs some time, okay? <laughs> she needs some time for herself. But you will get a vlog the day after Eid for our Eid, our yearly Eid vlog. So mm -hmm. yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in our next video or in my next video, but <laughs> bye guys. Bye. My dad um, wanted me to show him in the last video. It's about Ramadan, right? Yeah, it's the last It's the last yes, daily video. Yes, Ramadan is good. You know, only in Ramadan time, four of us, me and my two kids and my wife, can stay in it together. Only in Ramadan. You know, other than that, just everybody eats separately. Mm -hmm. They don't know where they are. But Ramadan is mwah, good. <laughs> you see, it's like together. Mm -hmm. Say Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak, 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 everybody. Say Eid Mubarak. <laughs> 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 <laughs>